Welcome to the Devil Friday. My name is Michael Schimke. I'm the CEO of Scalefree. Um, we have the session here every Friday for you, the audience, to essentially ask questions about data vault, um, cloud computing, anything, da any data-driven question, essentially, um, like dimensional modeling would work, anything data vault relevant, and so on, right? Okay, cool. And um, yeah, all questions are allowed. Um, you can use um, uh, you can use the chat here in the client for raising live questions. You can use the Q and A function in the client. You can also use a form, which I show you after today's session, at least a link to the form. And you can also raise your hand if you want and uh, get uh, essentially uh, the ability to speak. Don't misuse that. And um, if we receive multiple questions, I will cherry pick. Um, and uh, it's time box. So we talk about 10 minutes roughly for a good video online, essentially. And if there would be no questions at all, I will talk about the cluster here on my site. That's the old Schimke basement here. So yeah, I had I got in trouble with the, with the cluster. Not now I'm not doing that much at the moment. So uh, with it, but um, yeah. All right. So good good that you have a lot of questions. Um, all right. So let me uh, just um, show you today's question, which you received from one. I think from a customer. Let me just show it to you. So this one is essentially about reference data, reference tables, or reference hubs, and FQB satellites. The question is, should there be FTV satellites on reference tables, reference hubs? Now, the idea is that in the most basic design, when you look at reference tables, the most basic design is just a flat and white table. So you have the code, the reference code, let's say the, the ISO codes um, for the countries. You have as the primary key, and then all the descriptions, the, the caption, the abbreviation, the sort order, default color, and so on, as attributes or columns in that table. And they will describe or they describe the, the primary key engine. Now, if the QV satellites are used for two purposes, they are either used for capturing the deleted flag, like let's say a deleted, deleted date, or for catching FQV timelines. There's one, there's one um, variation of a reference table where when you want to capture descriptive data over time, changing descriptive data over time, we move them, these attributes, these columns, out of the standard reference table into a reference satellite. The reference satellite essentially describes the code in the reference table. And when you decide to move all the attributes into the reference satellite, you essentially end up with a reference table with just one business key. And that's what we call a reference hub. It's an extreme case, but that extreme case is the usual case today because we want to keep track of all the changes and it's instant only. So that's why we typically have a reference hub with just the code list all the ISO codes of all the countries, and then a reference satellite attached to it with all the um, descriptive data captured over time. Now, the thing is with FQV satellites, as I said, there's two purposes, the deleted date and the business timelines. The deleted date makes no sense in reference data because you can't typically delete reference codes. Even let's say the old codes for Eastern Germany. Eastern Germany unionized in 90s, uh, in, in 89, 90, with um, Germany, with West Germany, essentially. But the old code for Eastern Germany, even though I don't know it anymore, the old code still exists or should exist in your corporate data warehouse. Why? Because you have transactions from 89 or from before, from the 80s, in your data warehouse that you essentially um, uh, use for benchmarking or aggregation purposes, reporting purposes. And you have those transactions for Eastern Germany in your data warehouse. And they, they still are related to, to Eastern Germany, even though it doesn't exist anymore. So you can't remove typically, you can't typically remove these codes. They, they exist forever. You can only insert new codes and update the description by inserting a new delta into, into the reference satellite, but you don't remove any codes. You just keep them. So the deleted flag, I don't care for, to be honest. I don't care that a reference code has been deleted. I can't use it. Um, there might be an exception if you have to, if you have to uh, all the debts or something, they might make sense. Um, the Let's focus on the business timelines. So let's say you have a business timeline for when to when a code was valid in your reference data. Um, I mean, in the end, it's just descriptive data. So you could just keep it in your reference table, in your reference satellite. You can also separate that. I mean, think about this. A, a um, FQV satellite is just a satellite split. There's nothing special behind the FQV satellite except 
the loading mechanism, how we load it. But structure-wise, model-wise, it's just a standard satellite. And I know there's a lot of comments online uh, where, we, where they discuss a lot of ideas and tips and tricks for FQ satellites. I don't agree with them, to be honest. Uh, it's uh, The FQ satellite is just a satellite split based on the satellite split where you decide to separate some attributes into their own satellite. For example, the business timelines and the deleted date. That's what it's for. And so you could essentially keep those effective, these, these business timelines in your standard reference satellite describing the codes, or you just separate them by a satellite split into a referen reference FAQ satellite. That's what I would call it. Uh, you could do that. But the deleted date, as I said, typically not. So it's really only to be used when you have business timelines that you want to capture on your codes, which, which you might have. And which makes sense when you want to apply them. It's a bit unusual, to be honest. So typically, um, um, but yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rule it out, to be honest. So it's, yeah. Um, but the deleted date, I would question if I see them. Let's say that. Um, because I, I typically want to apply all these codes for the rest of the um, lifespan of the data session. That's the idea. So, um, yeah. To be honest, I've never done this. So um, I don't have FQ satellites on the reference satellites, uh, reference hubs, sorry, on the reference hubs. Um, but if you have a timeline, I would just attach them to the descriptive data of the code in the reference satellite, most probably. They wouldn't do a reference split. You could, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rule it out, to be honest. Make some, has some advantages as well, because the, um, I mean, the advantage of the FQ satellite is to have a um, separate entity for the power user or data scientist to quickly identify these timelines. And that argument holds true for the reference data as well. So you could do it, absolutely. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, quite a bit unusual pattern, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say no. It's, it's um, yeah, I just have problems with DDD today. That's, that's the summary, essentially. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you have a question like this, short question today. But if you have a question like this, use the um, this form here um, behind this URL, sfr.ee slash dvfriday. That's where you can essentially submit, submit your, your question, upload some pictures if you want, describe a bit um, of, the, of the purpose, and that lands up and lands in a table, um, which I always check uh, before today's session or before the weekly session, essentially. And um, yeah, so that's, that's the best way to get your question into the, into the system here. Um, we also have other webinars on DBT and Westgate. Um, that's behind scalefree.to slash webinars. That's where you find those monthly webinars and also this one here. Um, yeah, and if you have a chance in October, there is the Data Dreamland 23, which we organize at Scalefree essentially. And um, that's a two day um, session where we discuss, I mean, the, to, to this year's topic is all about cost efficiency. So it's all about, um, um, speaks about how to save costs using data world or let's say data driven solutions again. Doesn't have to be a data vault um, um, uh, topic, essentially. Must be data driven, at least. So close by, let's say. And um, yeah, if you have a chance to come, even without a, without a speak, come over as an attendee. Perfect to shake hands. Cool. It's a real event on site in Hanover, right? So, uh, it's not um, uh, virtual, it's completely um, on site. All right, cool. So yeah, hope to see you there and wish you a nice weekend. See you next Friday. Thank you, guys. Thanks for joining today. If you'd like to discuss this further, give us a call on the number below here and we're happy to discuss this with you. See you next time. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.